Our next guest has spun at parties for Diane von Furstenberg, President Clinton, Nickelodeon, Vogue Bambini, the Cartoon <laughs> Network, and too many others to mention. That's quite an impressive for anybody, but especially for a sixth grader. So let's hear a little bit from him. Being a DJ means to make everybody happy. For me, classical music is music from the 1900s. It's the music that you don't hear today, like funk, soul, and old school hip hop. Run DMC, Aretha Franklin, James Brown. If we're gonna change the world, we have to stop global warming. Seriously, it's getting too hot. I wouldn't mind if I have a wife who was a DJ. <laughs> My name is DJ Fulano, and if you come to hear me spin, expect something amazing. Amazing. Here with right. his lovely mother, Latham Thomas, is DJ Filato. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> so tell us about how you got into DJing. Um, well, it's a long story, but <laughs> I've always, since I was in the womb, I've always listened to music. Like my mom and my dad always would play music for me. I kicked to beat in uh -huh. my mother's stomach. And uh. when I came out, you know, they'd be playing me Aretha Franklin, Michael Jackson, Bach, Mozart, and all that. So I really got the a good older sense of music. So I never was obsessed with listening to Drake or stuff. Like, I, right. I think his music is all right, but I, I, was, never, <laughs> all right. I was never obsessed. Oh, right. I always liked James Brown and, um, you know, wow. all the old school stuff. And, um, you know, all the old school rappers like Nas. Right. And, um, oh, please. <laughs> so, <laughs> when I was five, uh, my mom's friend opened a DJ school and right, they and said, you hey, started. you should come take a lesson. So I went over there and they like gave just, me a scholarship counsel. Wow. Get at it. And, <laughs> and you just I loved mean, it from then on. Yeah. So I love that's it. your thing. So, Latham, how is it that you raised such an amazing, accomplished? child. <laughs> well, I think um, most of it is that we just listen as parents to what it is that our children show us that they want to do. So um, I had no idea that he would have this sort of musical aptitude, but um, I think it was really just following his bent. Um, one time we were in Miami, actually, it was for a, just, you know, during the winter, mm -hmm. and we were at a dinner, and he stood up at the head of the table and said, excuse me, I'm going to be traveling the world making people happy yes, with music. I love it. And I'm going to need a cell phone because I don't know my way around the world. <laughs> we were like, what? I'll need some GPS. He's like, I need he some knew. GPS. He, he knew. felt it. It was like channeled High five. In, right? Big dreams. <laughs> right. I like yeah. that. No, Thank it's good you. to be like that. It is. So how do you guys, like, prepare for a gig? I mean, how do you... <laughs> figure out what your playlist is gonna be and all of that? Well, um, I mean, sometimes my mentor helps me with that if it's a really big gig, like when I DJ for Bill Clinton, for Fashion right. Week, he'd help oh, me Bill prepare. Clinton, oh, Bill yeah. Clinton, no big deal. <laughs> whatever. And your mentor would be? My, my mentor is DJ Cassidy. Oh, yeah. Wow, I've heard of that. right? <laughs> um, but Real break. No big day. deal. It, it, no, it's a big deal. <laughs> yeah. um, but for big things I've DJed, he would help me make a playlist, Massive Square Garden, Barclay Center, et cetera. Yeah. Um, and so for things that I do, like a bar mitzvah, kids' parties, adults' parties, a birthday, anything like that, I mostly make the playlist on my own and just say, mm -hmm. okay, are there going to be kids there or are going to be adults there? You I have make, to think about your audience, I might play right? some Drake and Alicia <laughs> Keys. I might play some James Brown and Aretha Franklin. So I, I'm not positive why I play, why I'm all play all the time, but I like mixing in new and old music together to uh, make a genre of music almost like right. suitable for any age. So that's incredible. So when you guys get together, what is it that you both do before you get ready for a gig? Like, how is it you really? How do you prepare him do you for like what he's about to walk into? Or yeah. Anything? So a big thing <laughs> is um, making sure that he feels grounded and safe and and uh, so he works with the same people all the time, the same sound team, which is amazing. That is wonderful. So no matter where we are, he is looking around and there's familiar faces, which I think is very important, especially because every event's so different and it's in different places and you're working with different um, production people. So I always make sure that the team is solid. And then he has his own little rituals. We pray, 
um, he will like do deep breathing or something or sit in a chair and say like, I'm meditating and his <laughs> own little thing, which I think is really important for him to just feel like he's, you know, nice and strong and potent. Did to you go instill out these bef way before he said, oh, I want, you know, this is what I'm going to be doing? Is it yes. something that you incorporated early on? Oh yeah, for sure. It was like, you know, since he was really small, like I have a meditation practice, so he would just climb in my lap and sit while I would be meditating. Kind of disruptive, but I just would right. let him do it. Right. And right. I think that that sort of like, kind of led into him having his own practice. We also pray, which I think is, you know, really powerful too. Absolutely. So, I mean, let's yeah. back up a second. You're in, we were just talking about this in the commercial, you're in sixth grade, <laughs> right? Yes. yes. So I how know. did you get interested in these artists like Aretha Franklin? I mean, this was way before your Stevie time. Stevie Wonder. Yeah. <laughs> As I said, um, I listened did your mom to, introduce them to you a little bit? My mom and my dad, you know, mm -hmm. my, my mom has a big, uh, selection, varieties of music, as well as my dad, you know. Um, but they both play me different genres. Like my dad would play mm -hmm. me, you know, Jamaican music or Mozart or Bach, and my mom would play me Aretha Franklin or Donna Summers when I was a baby. And so I, I grew up with that. Um, right. Not necessarily that I was born in the 1900s, but... <laughs> um, <laughs> You're so eloquent, I have you to say. You are. You're, you're an <laughs> old you. soul. That's all there is to yeah, it. And no, I think mom did this most incredible job. Yes. And what I want to ask, out of all the celebrities you've met, what is some of the advice either they have given you one in particular or just anyone that you've met that's older, maybe you in the DJ same field? You have DJ Cassidy yeah, as your mentor. Um, well, I mean, I've had a couple people give me advice. When I meet a celebrity, I don't usually ask for advice, I more just say, hey, can I get a photo, or hey, can I get an autograph? <laughs> um, um, sign 20 of these for me, for right. all my friends, too. Right. Um, That's but cool. <laughs> I, uh, I um, always go to taking photos and stuff, and sometimes if they're seeing me DJ, they say, you know what, kid, you're pretty good, and you, you should keep going on with that, and that you should have that as you dream. And I say, I do, you know, I love DJ, I love music. I would and, say Cassidy also tells um, you to prepare, though, well, Mom, right? Oh, I know. <laughs> Mom, come on. Yeah, he's got it. He's Cassie, got it. Cassidy uh, gives me <laughs> advice about my DJ, new tricks, different music, how to remix, how to do it with your eyes closed. Beautiful. Um, Feel I know the music, which is a great link you really into your meditation that, as well. I mean, um, he taught me all these tricks, special ways to fade out, to put music in, to make it louder, make it softer. So, really, I got, I've got i gotten advice from lots of different people. Oh, so well, cool thank you so you. much, Filato, for coming, and Latham, thank you so much. Good thank luck you. to you and everything that you do. Hopefully, you'll come back and you'll hang out with us and be our house DJ one all of right. these mornings. So, up next, <laughs> New York City cab drivers are infamous for a lot of things, but did you know that some of them are hotter than July? <laughs> well, up next, we've got the one and only New York City cab driver calendar. Stay tuned for more of A Rise and Shine.